Welcome to Well Body Now, everyone. I'm so glad that you're back with me again. What I have today is a great circuit that is focusing on strengthening your back, which is so important, especially if you're pregnant. So if you're not pregnant, you can fast forward through this little spiel that I'm about to give you right now. If you are pregnant, make sure you're listening up. So as you know, when we get pregnant, all that extra weight goes right there in the front of our body and it can make our back arch and we can end up with this lower back arch and lower back pain which we don't want. So we want to strengthen our back muscles to help us keep a nice neutral spine even as we gain weight here all in the front with our little watermelon bellies, right? So I love getting the biggest bang out of my buck with each workout. So not only are we going to be doing back exercises, but we're doing combo moves. Each move we will be working a portion of our back, but we'll also be getting our lower body, our legs and glutes engaged so that we can get the most out of our workout, get our heart rate up a little bit as the same time as we're strengthening our back. So we're gonna warm up, we're gonna get right to it, and we're just gonna start with some squats, nice and easy. So I want you to remember, as you squat, your hips are going back, abdominals are tight. Now, if you're pregnant, I want you drawing your belly button in towards your spine and kind of tilting your hips forward a little bit, right? To avoid this arch, think about drawing your belly button in towards your spine, hips coming forward just a little bit. Very good. Nice work. We're just getting warmed up here. Lots of squats in today's workout. So, we're gonna squat. Now we're gonna take it a side to side squat, all right? So, we're gonna step out to the side, center, side, center. Nice. Now as we're doing that, let's open our arms in the back, let's warm up our back a little bit more. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Beautiful. I'm taking you through the warm up all the way to the cool down today. No matter if you're pregnant or not, I want you to have tight abdominal muscles. Your knees are never going past your toes. Starting to feel warm here, right? Keep breathing. Give me two more each side. One more each side. Nice. Now we're going to do a little bird dog here to warm up our back even more. Go ahead and get down on all fours. All right. So again, I don't want an arch in your back there. Draw that belly button in towards the spine. Nice, straight back. Lift one leg up. And again, don't lift it so high you're arching. It should be about the same level as your hips, opposite arm out. And now just little pulses. Warming up the back there. Pulse it. This exercise is so good for you, especially if you're pregnant. <laughs> it works your entire core, because I know you feel your abdominals squeezing at the same time as your back, right? Your abdominals are working to help you stay balanced so that your hips are staying parallel with the ground. Bring it down. Other leg out first. Check your form. You don't want it all the way up the arch in your back. The leg is going straight out at hip height. Get your balance, focus in front of you. Lift the opposite arm, nice and straight. And little pulses. Keep that back straight. Keep those hips parallel. Little tiny pulses. Feel your back working here. Oh. Warming up. If you ever feel off balance, just put your arm down until you feel balanced again. A few more here. You got it. Bring it down. Especially if you're pregnant. Support yourself as you come up. And there you go. What I have here to work out with today is a chair. Anybody can have a chair handy if you need help with balance, but especially if you're pregnant. Then I have two different levels of weights. I have a light weight and a heavier weight. My heavy weight is about double my light weight. Okay? So let's get right to it. We're going to start with a single leg row. Now I'm going to take my heavy weight in one arm, 
I am going to have my standing leg nice and firm, slightly bent, lean forward. Now just pick up your foot. This might be as far as you can go. That's fine. If you can get it a little bit higher, great. Just make sure you're not going so high that you're creating an arch in your back like that. We don't want that. All right? So we are going to hold that position and we're going to row. Pull the middle back muscles and the upper back muscles in and squeeze it there for one, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the back. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Beautiful. Keep that in your hand there. Take your lighter weight. We are going to do a squat. The lighter weight is going to stay up over your head. That automatically you can feel your upper back muscles really engaged there. Arm is nice and long. The lower weight is just hanging out there. Turn your toes out slightly and we're going to squat just like that. All right, I want you fighting to keep that arm extended, squeezing your back muscles back nice and straight. Just drop your hips. Ready? Here we go. For 10, 9. I lost my balance. There we go. Here we go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Squeeze those back muscles. Two and one. Beautiful work. Put the weights back down. We are going to go into our knees here. Hands and knees. All right, going to work on the lower back a little bit more. Go ahead. Make sure your back is nice and tight. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. No arch in your back. Extend that front leg. You're going to lift and take it over to one side and the other like you're drawing a rainbow. Abdominals are tight. Really feel your lower back, your glutes, and your hamstrings here. Your shoulders are tracking right over your wrists. And I forgot to count. I don't even know what number we're on. We're going to do a couple more. <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> Over to the side. Nice. Last one. Over and back. Bring that knee in. Bring it up. We're going to do those same exercises on the other side. All right, so I'm taking my heavier weight. I'm just turning around here. Let's see, move my chair up. So, standing leg. Nice and bent. Lean forward slightly, pick your toes up, check your balance. When you, if you feel like you can go bring it up a little bit more, do that. And let's row for one, two, Squeeze those back muscles. Four, nice. Five, abdominals tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep that weight in the same hand. Take your lighter weight. I'm going to get my chair back out of the way. That light weight goes straight up over your head. That arm is right next to your head, already squeezing your back. Draw that belly button in towards your spine. No arch in your back. Nice, flat back, right? Okay. Toes turned out slightly. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, work it, 5, Four, three, I'm breathing hard, two, and one. Nice work. Let's take it down to the ground here. All right, we're going to do the other leg this time. So, extend it out, goes out to the side. There's one, two. Three, we are not arching our back. Four, abdominals tight. 
five, six, seven, eight, nice work, nine, and ten. Beautiful. All right, shake it out. Quick rest here. Think about how you're feeling, all right? If you're pregnant, I want you to still be able to speak sentences as we're working out. At least be able to say one sentence without feeling out of breath. All right, at the end of our little break here, you should be able to speak freely before we move on. Okay, sipping your water. I'm feeling recovered. I bet you're feeling recovered. We're gonna do that circuit again. Now we know exactly what to do. We're gonna fly through it in a safe way. One exercise right after the other. All right, grabbing your heavy weight. Standing legs slightly bent. Lift up, check your balance, lift up more if you can, and row for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, abs tight, squeeze your back, three, two, and one. All right, grab that other lighter weight, bring it overhead, toes turned out slightly, let's squat, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, come on, three, this one's just challenging, two, and one. Put those weights down carefully. Take it down to the ground. Feel that heart rate getting up, right? All right, abs tight, back flat, extend that leg, rainbow for 10, nine, eight, Seven, nice. Six, avoid arching your back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee up, support yourself as you come up. Grab your heavy weight. We're going to the other side. All right, stand like slightly bent. Lift and check your balance. Lift up higher if you can. Let's row for one, two, three, four, focus, five, squeeze those upper back muscles, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep that heavy weight in that same hand. Pick up your lighter weight. Right into it, knees turned out. Let's squat. Nice. Feel that back working. Good posture. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful work. Take it down to the ground. We're gonna draw that rainbow. Get into a flat, neutral spine there. Draw that belly button in, back is flat. Extend that leg out and over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice work. Bring that knee up, support yourself. Here's our little recovery. Sip your water, keep moving around. Nice full breaths. We're gonna do it all again three times through our circuit. Then I have a little bonus for you, okay? <sighs> bonus exercises are wonderful. They're extra endurance builders, strength builders, 
calorie busters if you need it, but we're pregnant, so we're not really trying to lose weight and burn extra, extra calories, right? We help counterbalance all this wonderful exercise by having a pre-workout snack with some nice lean protein combined with carbs, okay? Those carbs are energy going to your baby, so you need your carbs. And then you get to snack again after the workout too with some nice lean protein and some more healthy carbs. All right, complex carbohydrates, whole grains, fruits, vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a fruit smoothie after this with a little whey protein powder. It's gonna be good. We ready to go? Grab your heavy weight. All right, standing leg, firm but knee is soft. Lift up your toes, check your balance. Lift up more if you can and row for one. Whoops, two, three, four, Five, you got it. Six, you're looking down at the ground in front of you, so your neck stays nice and neutral. Eight, nine, and 10. Heavy weight stays in that hand. Grab your lighter weight. Toes turned out slightly. Extend it up, already squeezing your shoulder blades kind of together down and back, right? Come on, let's go. For 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, exhale it up, three, two, and one. Carefully put your weights down, nice and easy, make your way back down to the ground. Draw the belly button in, back is flat, leg goes out, and draw that rainbow. One, two, three, nice work, four. If you wanted to make this more difficult, you could put ankle weights on too if you wanted. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, come on up, right into the other side. Grab your heavy weight. Okay, standing leg firm but slightly bent. Lift up your toes, check your balance. Lift up your leg higher if you can, and row for one, two, three. You got it, four. Come on, you're not arching your back, are you? If you feel arching your back, put your toes down. Seven, eight, draw that belly button in towards your spine as you squeeze your back. And 10, grab the light weight in the other hand. Toes turned out, right into those squats. These are challenging, but you can do it. For 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze your back. Six, exhale it up, five, Four, three, two, and one. Okay, carefully weights down. Make your way to the ground. Last exercise in our third circuit here. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. Abs tight, back flat, extend the leg out. Here we go. One, two, Three, four. You're not looking back at your knees and feet, are you? Look out in front of you. Six, you wanna keep your neck nice and neutral. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, bring that knee up. Support yourself as you come up. Shake it out. Grab your water if you need to. How you feeling? You made it through that circuit three times. Little extra bonus work here. So we're gonna do some plank work and plank rows. So you have some choices here. Let's make our way down. You can actually do this from an all fours quadruped position if this is what's gonna work for you. I want to make sure that your shoulders are tracking over your wrists. 
your hips are tracking over your knees. Knees are about hip width apart. And of course, we're always going to draw that belly button in and keep a nice flat back. Slightly less modified, a little bit more challenging is drawing those knees back. See, my arms didn't move. My shoulders are still tracking over my wrist. My knees were just slid back and we want some balance here. So have your knees a little bit wider. All right, most advanced, you're taking it to a full plank. Again, my arms did not change positions. Shoulders tracking over wrists. Body nice and tight and strong. No dip or arch in my back. So you find what position you want. Are you in it? Did you find it? Okay, we're gonna do 20 rows here by just picking up our hand and squeezing our shoulder blade around our spinal cord. You ready? Here we go for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, nice, 14, 13. Squeeze that shoulder blade around the spine, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. Make your way up nice and easy. Shake it out. Let's cool down and stretch. I hope you're feeling so proud of what you just did. All right. All right. Go ahead, feet shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more. Bend down, hands resting right above your knees there. Round your back into a cat stretch. Oh, that feels good. Shoulder blades coming apart, spreading your back, making it as wide as you can, and release. Let's do that again. There you go, exhale all that air out. Arch your back, hang out there, that feels good. I love stretching. Don't you dare stop. You go all the way through the cool down and stretch. It's so important. All right. <laughs> Take your right leg, cross it over your left. We're gonna do a forward fold. This might be enough for you. Maybe you can go all the way down. Do what you can. Especially if you're pregnant, your belly might get in the way. Just do what you can. <sighs> Couple deep breaths. And just let your shoulder blades again fall apart. Let the gravity, the weight of your arms just kind of stretch your back there naturally. And getting a stretch in the back of our legs. As we gain weight in the front, our hamstrings here tighten up and that tends to lead to our back pain and the arching in our back. So we need to stretch out our hamstrings to help alleviate that back pain. All right, left leg over right. And bend forward nice and easy. This might be far enough for you. If you can go further, go further. Just letting the weight of your arms stretch that back there. Feel the back of your leg. That feels good. Nice deep breaths. Oh, this is the best part. Right now you should be congratulating yourself in your head, giving yourself like pretend pats on the back there for doing such a good job and working out with me today. Bring it up nice and easy. All right, let's do a little runner's lunge. All right, deep dip down there. We did work the front of our legs a little bit, so let's stretch it there. Oh, that feels good. And switch to the other side. Easing into it, drop those hips down as far as you can, pushing the hip forward there, getting the front of the leg, the front of the hips there. Nice and balanced. Carefully make it down to the ground. One last little spine stretch. One final stretch here with the spinal twist. You're taking your opposite hand to that knee, rest it just under the knee there. Other hand supporting your back and you are looking over your shoulder. 
take a couple nice deep breaths here and just enjoy this stretch. Should feel really good on your back there. Sitting up nice and tall as you do it. Let's switch sides. Other knee up, opposite hand resting just under the knee. The other hand is supporting the weight back behind you. Look over your shoulder and nice deep full breaths. I'm so proud of you. You really deserve this great stretch after the great workout you did. And there you have it. Congratulations. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please subscribe. Check out the Facebook page at wowbodynow.com. And if you'd like to work out with me live, please check out my live online fitness studio with Pow How. All of the links are below. And with that, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.